want to make a short video. Uh, this is what I've been working on here. Basically my uh, catcher. New catcher circuit. And uh, basically following what Ruslan did with one of his earlier versions. So I have the uh, little gizmo here to turn back and forth. And uh, it's basically set up just the same as the schematic. What I have on top here is a 2SC5200. Uh, um, I just got it on there with a piece of plastic because uh, I tried to drill a hole through it and I, and I couldn't get it. I broke two drills and got to do it again. So anyway, it's just being held on. It's not working very well. It's got a, a really small fan under it for some cooling. I don't know if it really does anything. It's not really enough. But anyway, uh, this, this setup here seems to work pretty good. And uh, I still need to probably add another, uh, what do you call it, transistor or no, resistor to to the mix here because I only have about one one K worth of resistors there and the pot is 5k pot. Anyway, here's the here's the setup here. It's basically the, the same uh, uh, that I've always had. The yoke is just waiting for the uh, the mazili to be added on to it over here and uh, It'll come, but I wanted to do something else also. I may redo the Mozilla in any case. So I just wanted to show you what this does. Uh, there's some talk with from Geo and others about um, that the yoke is or is not a mediator and that you need another mediator. And uh, so, yeah, I have several uh, of these little chokes and uh, it seems to me though that the yoke is a mediator and I'll show you how the high voltage it affects my whole system but what I have here is I've hooked up from the uh, from the um, the three turn coil inductor circuit through this cap the big Wema cap there I've, uh, I've connected that whole circuit together. The secondary of the yoke is not really connected to anything right now. It's, it's connected to a little rectifier there, but the rectifier is not going to anything. It's just a little tiny rectifier just to play around with the idea. I haven't done anything with it yet. But once I turn on the high voltage through the catcher, comes down through here, goes into the yoke, comes out through these chokes, and I've got high voltage, I can do a streamer off of these chokes here. So if that goes back into the power supply, the power supply is probably going to be toast after a while. So anyway, I did put a, I put a, what do you call it, a diode on, onto my power supply, a 24 volt 10 amp power supply so it's, it's got the diode going out but I don't know I mean if that's enough or not this spark probably jumps it in any case uh, there's my scope and signal generator so uh, let me turn this thing on my transistor is still overheating so I can't really do this for very long at all but I'll do what I can um, first of all, the output coil, the grenade output coil, this output coil, excuse the mess over here, I, I have to redo that end there. Um, but the output coil goes right to these bulbs, and uh, these three bulbs. Two of them, the two on the right are, are 25 watt, and the little guy is uh, a 10 watt. So. Uh, that's connected. It's all connected to this this catcher. The catcher is the only thing that's that's giving us any uh, 
any power to the whole system, but I just want to show you how it goes through this whole um, yoke circuit, and the yoke does become a mediator of a sort. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll turn it on here, excuse the shaking and bad quality, that's not the best camera. So here, I'm turning it on. That's the 10 watt bulb going right there, okay? Now this is just from the catcher. Ow! <laughs> These RF burns are intense. It's a 25 watt bulb and a 10 watt bulb. And here's another 25 watt bulb, but it's just barely glowing. And if I turn off the little small one, I can get these to come up, but actually it doesn't like ferrite in the core, so if I pull the ferrite out of the core, uh, I do have to turn it off because I'll get zapped to no end here. So I pull the ferrite out of the core, like I do with a magnet so that it <laughs> sticks to it, but anyway, uh, sometimes it doesn't like the... Uh, the ferrite in there, it, it seems like the incandescent bulbs work better with without the ferrite. And uh, so here's the two 25 watt bulbs running and a uh, little neon indicator there. Um, and uh, I can also turn on the 10 watt, but the 10 watt will dim the other ones, but it'll all go on. So there's three little bulbs going. And that's all I wanted to show you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.